From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. Health officials hoping it's the beginning of controlling the third wave of the coronavirus for the country, decreasing overall numbers being reported for the past two days. The ministry confirming just 18 new cases for Monday, 13 in the capital, two in Andros, one each in Inadwa, Exuma, and Grand Bahama. Total infections for the country now at 11,527. No additional deaths reported. The total remains at 226. Residents in Cat Island, parts of Andros, and the Barry Islands now into that strict two-week lockdown designed to stop the spread of the virus in those communities. Health Minister Wells telling the media, despite some criticism, this had to be done. We do not have all of the infrastructure in the islands, the ventilators, the negative pressure inside the, 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 the government facilities to be able to house, hold on to those persons who would become critical. We would have to fly them out and fly them into New Providence. So our position has always been, if we see the expanding and surging of COVID in an island, that the government will move Uh, expeditiously to break the chains of transmission. The minister also confirming that we should have more vaccine in country by the end of the week, the AstraZeneca kind, and he says he's almost certain the Pfizer vaccine will be available by the end of the year, but no final decision made on that yet. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police have completed their investigations into that recent government high school stabbing incident. They've now filed charges. Two teenage boys, one 15, the other 16, arraigned in court yesterday in connection with it. They're facing murder and attempted murder charges. Their names cannot be released. They are being held at the Simpson Penn Center for Boys. Their next court appearance is scheduled for early July. A British man, 47-year-old Shane Murphy, is facing a number of fraud-related charges, including money laundering and possession of forged Bahamian documents. He was arraigned in court yesterday. Cruise ships could be coming back to the capital from Florida as early as July 4th, according to industry officials. The president of the Electrical Workers Union confirming that up to 90% of BPL staff stationed on Cat Island tested positive for the coronavirus. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny again today. Highs in the low to mid-80s, 83 at Freeport, 85 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader, 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Wednesday's World News headlines the one-year anniversary of the death of George Floyd in the U.S. that triggered worldwide social justice demonstrations marked with memorials and moments of silence. Memorials held in several U.S. cities and some countries, including Greece, Spain, and Germany. Diplomatic efforts continue to keep that Middle East ceasefire in place and now to find a permanent solution to the problem that triggered 11 days of conflict between Israel and Hamas. U.S. Secretary of State Blinken is now in Egypt for talks there aimed at finding a solution to the problem. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 491, SO 494, Rubus $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. The government says no to hosting of a major track and field event here. Find out where it's headed. Get all of the results from the Star Trackers meet staged over the weekend at the stadium. 
Your NBA playoff update is in the Tribune Sports, including the Lakers win over DeAndre Ayton and the Suns in Game 2 last night. That series now tied at one each. Big night for John Quell Jones of the WNBA. 28 points, 13 rebounds against Seattle, but the Sun lost in overtime. First loss of the season for them. Jazz on the Marlins lose to the Phillies in Major League Baseball. He may have a foot injury. The details on that will be coming. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.